you who are new to the show, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button. Like up my videos, help support the channel. Thank you all for joining the Andrew 26101 channel. We gotta talk about this, folks, man. Larsa Pippen and Bronny James. Bronny James, did you get your hand caught in the cookie jar, young man? Are you doing things that you're not supposed to? I mean, listen now. Bronny James is a basketball player, obviously following the footsteps of his father in high school. But, you know, he's had his troubles in the past. We know that. But there has been some rumors going around between Bronny James and Larsa Pippen. Now, those of y'all who don't know who Larsa Pippen, the beautiful, cosmetic, irresistible Barbie doll of Larsa Pippen. She's the late great ex-wife of Scottie Pippen. Now, there's been some rumors going around because of this picture that Larsa Pippen put up and Bronny James liked the picture. So because of that, uh, you know how black Twitter gets and black IG gets. So everybody said, oh, is Larsa Pippen's next victim Bronny James? So there's this, been this rumor going around that's been going crazy that Bronny James is secretly smashing or about to smash Larsa Pippen. Now, this is just a rumor, man, obviously. Now, Larsa Pippen is good friends with Bronny James's mother, okay, which is Savannah James, okay? Now, here's the thing, okay, which makes it so funny and so, uh, I guess, you know, sort of possibly could be a predictable because, you know, Larsa Pippen, not saying Bronny, but Larsa Pippen, you know, she has a few dirt on her, man. I mean, she's known and prone down to uh, go for rich, high-quality men. I mean, she's the ex-wife of the late, great Scottie Pippen, you know, breaking Scottie Pippen's heart. You know, I guess she saw the future <laughs> in a rap nigga. And then she went ahead and whore herself around the industry, breaking niggas' hearts and shit. Then she found herself... A basketball player. So I could I could understand, you know, her reputation is not that good. It's kind of messed. You know, such as leaving Scottie Pippen, cheating on Scottie Pippen for future. So maybe she probably sees a future investment with Bronny. Because, you know, I've said it before time and time again. We all know that a lot of women see men as investments, you know, okay? Because you guys are walking ATMs. I've said it a long time ago. Some people may disagree with me. And some people may not agree with me, but the truth of the matter is, man, we're walking ATMs to these hoes. We're walking ATMs. So if you look at Bronny now, the late great son of LeBron James, Bronny, he's a future, future NBA star. She's looking at, damn, maybe I could get it an investment, you know, invest my Poutang stocks, Bronny James fund, you know, that way I can, you know, get my... You know, Erling Cash and Diz on, you know, a man who's going to get that cash. But anyways, younger James, which is Bronny James, he's 16. He's still a teenager in high school. And however, the 46-year-old Larissa Pippen recently uh, active within the Minnesota. She's actually, she recently active with the Minnesota Twins guard, uh, Malik Blazy, Blazy, I guess he, she's fucking around with this dude. But come on, man, we know how these hoes go around. But still, at the end of the day, it is what it is. But what makes it even more interesting is that these comments that um was made by Savannah. Now Savannah didn't really take this uh situation with Black Twitter uh funny at all because it's regarding to her son. She put this with everything going on. In the world right now, this is the ish y'all talking about. At the end of the day, y'all are talking about a minor. I don't care what type of celebrity y'all think he is. He's a child. And this bull crap needs to stop. So anyway, she took it to the Instagram doing that. And I said this to myself. I don't think in my personal opinion, she should have took it to those extreme measures i mean honestly i i would have just not even paid attention to it let it be but the fact of the matter is is that people started to make a big deal out of it now we all know that rumors are rumors and people will talk shit because that's what them god damn it did i curse i think i did shit anyways god damn it i curse again but you know what i mean 
I mean, it, it, it's going to happen. People are going to, like, black Twitter is going to do their thing and say what they got to say and you know, and make fun of the situation. But, you know, the funniest part, though, about this is this comment that I saw, which was completely hilarious. Which NBA married man is coming over for Christmas? <laughs> Listen, man, you got to laugh at things like this because black Twitter, they never seem to never make me not laugh. It's just hilarious. But anyways, guys, I want to know what you guys think. You know, do you think that uh, Savannah James uh, should have taken it, the ignoring approach and just kind of let it be? Or do you think she had all right to step up and defend her son? Uh, or do you think that, you know, possibly... There might be a secret romance. Or do you think that uh, Larissa is trying to shoot her shot at the same time? Because listen, man, we got to be real. She do kind of see, you know, she sees dollar signs. So maybe later on when James gets to 18, 19 or whatever, you know, when that mutual funds start to mature, you never know. She might be just knocking on his door, throwing the booty. But you know what I'm saying? She's too old anyways, man. By the time he gets to her age... This girl's all pruned up and ready to get on a goddamn cycle or, you know, some wheelchair. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever, man. I'm just talking shit. But anyways, guys, rate the video. Leave your comments. Let me know what you think. Follow me on the IG. Hit that subscribe button, y'all. Love, peace, and chicken grease. And I'll see you in the next one.